verify directly connected networks. Addressing table, R1 router with three interfaces, R1 router with three interfaces, PC1, PC2, PC1, PC2, R2 router with three interfaces, R2 router with three interfaces, PC3, PC4, PC3, PC4. R1 uses IPv4 and R2 uses IPv6. Verify IPv4 directly connected networks. Verify IPv4 addresses and port status on R1. Check the status of the configured interfaces by filtering the output on R1. Okay, go to R1. Command line interface, CLI tab, enter, and password. The user exec password is Cisco. The privilege exec password is class. Okay, Cisco, enter, enable class, enter. And show IP interface brief pipe exclude unassigned. Show IP interface brief pipe exclude unassigned. Enter. Okay. You can see the three interfaces on R1 with IPv4 addresses. And gigabit 000 is administratively down. And gigabit 001 status up, protocol up. Serial status up, protocol up. Okay. The filter exclude unassigned will show you only the interfaces configured with an IP address. Okay, for example, if you use uh, only show IP interface brief, you will see this. You will see also the interfaces with unassigned IP addresses. Okay, and the filter is very useful. Okay, based on the output, correct any port status problems that you see. Okay, so enable gigabit 000, that is administratively down. Enable that. Go to global configuration mode with configure terminal. Enter interface gigabit 000 and now shut down. Okay. Refer to the addressing table and verify the IP addresses configured on R1. Make any corrections to addressing if necessary. Okay, and to go privilege exec mode and repeat the show IP interface brief pipe exclude unassigned. And review the Gigabit 000, 20.1, 20.1, very good. 001, 21, 29, 001, 20.129, 010, 200, 229, 010, 200, 225. So IP address is incorrect. And also, I want to verify the subnet mask. Okay, you, you can use a simple command like show running config. Okay. 
And you can see gigabit 00, zero subnet mask is 128 that belongs to 25. It's okay. Gigabit 001 is 128 that belongs to 25, that it's okay. And serial 010 is uh, subnet mask is 248. And this is in prefix, this is uh, 29, 29 prefix. But uh, this prefix is 30. So, so the IP address and subnet mask are incorrect. So you need to fix all this on serial 010. Okay, a space, space, configure terminal interface serial 010 and set. Uh, Override the existing IP address with this new IP address 209.165.200.225 and field D should be uh, 252. Enter. Okay. And okay. And to go uh, privilege exit mode. Display the routing table by filtering to start the output at the word gateway. Terms that are used to fill their output can be shortened to match text as long as the match is unique. For example, gateway, gate, and get will have the same effect. G will not. Okay, filtering is case sensitive. Okay, so use this. Show IP root pipe begin gate okay gateway or only gate now you can see the routing table but starting from the word gateway for example only use show ip root and you will see the codes and then the gateway and the routing information but with the filter, with this pipe, only will show you, will show you only the contents beginning with gateway keyword. Okay, and what is the gateway of last resort address? Gateway of last resort is 209.165.200.226. Okay, the, so for R1, the last resort is 209.165.200.226, and is this, 226. Display interface information and filter for description or connected. When using include or exclude, multiple searches can be performed by separating the search strings with a pipe symbol. Okay, and use this on R1. Show interface and pipe include uh, case sensitive description, no spaces pipe connected. Okay, and enter. Okay, this filter will show you the output that includes all lines with the keyword description or keyword connected. Okay, connected, description, connected, description, connected, description include all lines with the keyword description or connected okay uh, very good what is the circuit id displayed from your output okay for serial 001 the circuit id is uh, bcb 12345001 Okay, but it's only a description. It's not a it's not a configuration parameter. 
only a description. Display a specific interface information for gigabit 000 by filtering for duplex. Okay, show interface pipe include uh, 0, 0, 0 and duplex. Okay, and enter. Okay, gigabit 000 is up, line protocol is up and connected. Uh, is the duplex is full, 100 megabits per second, and media type is RJ45. This is the connector. Another way to view this is uh, show interface pipe includes gigabit, case sensitive gigabit, uh, or duplex. Okay, enter. And we'll show you gigabit 00, zero full uh, duplex and gigabit 001 zero zero duplex. What is the duplex settings? A speed and media type. Okay, for gigabit 000, zero zero, full duplex, 100 megabits per second, and media type RJ45. Verify connectivity. PC1 and PC2 should be able to ping each other and the dual stack server. Okay. Go to PC1. Desktop, command prompt. Ping to PC2. What is the IP address of PC2? 172.16.21.38. Ping 172, 16, 20, 138. Success. And ping the dual stack server 64, 100, 110. Ping 64, 100, 110. Very nice. Verify IPv6 directly connected networks. Verify IPv6 addresses and port status on R2. Check the status of the configured interfaces. Show IPv6 interface brief on R2. Click on R2. Command line interface, enter. Password Cisco enable class and use show IPv6 interface brief and what is the status of the configured interfaces? Okay, gigabit 000, status app, protocol app, gigabit 001, okay, uh, status app protocol app. Another way to view this is gigabit 001 is layer one up, layer two up, okay. Serial 001 up and up. Okay, three interfaces configured. So the answer here is uh, all configured interfaces are up, up. Refer to the addressing table and make any corrections to addressing as necessary. Okay, uh, look at this three interfaces gigabit 00, gigabit 001, serial 011. Okay. Uh, two gigabit interfaces and one serial interface. Two gigabit interfaces and one serial interface. And verify uh, C0DE 
one two colon colon one for gigabit zero 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 okay c zero d one two colon colon one very good zero zero one c zero d one four colon colon one zero zero one c zero d one three colon colon one so this is incorrect okay uh, this uh, gigabit zero zero one interface should be configured with one three colon colon one okay and also verify serial zero one one okay serial zero one one should be c zero de one one colon colon one c zero de one one colon colon one very good okay and also verify the prefix in all cases prefix should be 64 and you can use a simple command like show running dash config enter okay prefix 64 64 okay 64 64 and 64 very good so only change the ip address on gigabit 001 to 13 colon colon 1 Okay, and configure terminal to go global configuration mode and enter uh, gigabit 001. Okay, interface gigabit 001. And okay, this is gigabit 001. And remove this IPv6 address. Okay. If you add a new IPv6 address, will not overwrite the existing IPv6 address because on IPv6, you can configure multiple IPv6 addresses on an interface. So you need to remove these fields. Okay, C0D14, colon, colon, one. Use the no keyword no IPv6 address 2001 db8 c0de 14 colon colon one prefix 64 enter now if remove it and add the new that should be 13 colon colon one okay uh, remove the no keyword IPv6 address 2001 db8 c0de 13 colon colon one prefix 64 and very nice and and you can verify with uh, show ipv6 interface brief okay very good and when changing an ipv6 address it is necessary to remove the incorrect address since uh, interface is capable of supporting multiple ipv6 networks Okay, first remove and then add the new configuration. Display IPv6 routing table, show IPv6 route. Okay. Okay, this is the routing table on IPv6. Okay. The routing table on IPv6. But uh, filtering commands do not presently work with the IPv6 commands. Okay, on Packet Tracer, but on Real Lab will be supported. Display all IPv6 addressing configured on interfaces by filtering the output of the running config. Okay. Filter the output on R2 for IPv6 or interface. Okay, and show running dash config and pipe to filter and include the lines that will show you uh, only ipv6 and interface okay include ipv6 pipe with no spaces no spaces and uh, interface okay include all lines that will have IPv6 or interface uh, keywords. 
Okay, show running config pipe include IPv6 or interface. Very nice. Enter. So you can see interface gigabit 000, the IPv6 configuration, gigabit 001, IPv6 configuration. Okay, serial 011, IPv6 configuration. How many addresses are configured on each gigabit interface? Okay, gigabit 001, two IPv6 addresses, the link local address and global unicast address. Gigabit 001, two IP addresses, link local address and global unicast address. So the answer is uh, there are two IPv6 addresses, one for global unicast address and another for link local address. Verify connectivity. PC3 and PC4 should be able to ping each other and the dual stack server. Okay, access PC3, desktop command prompt, and ping. For example, PC4, ping from PC3, ping PC4. Go to addressing table and use this IPv6 address for, for PC4. 2001, DB8, C0DE, column 13, column, column 8. Okay, C0DE, column 13, column, column 8. Success, very good. And finally, ping to dual stack server 2001 db8 101a. 2001 db8 100 column 1 column column a. Column 1 column column a. Enter. Success. Okay, completion 100%. Thank you very much.